During two a days in August, Sterling City football head coach Trey Cisco said the work they already put in, and if they continue to just do that and improve each week, this group had the potential to do something special. We'll flash forward to four months later. The Eagles are in the state championship game for the second time ever and have the chance to win their first state title. But they'll have to get through the May Tigers, who are in the state championship game for the sixth time in program history, and they won it back in 1977. The two already met up this season, and the Eagles beat the Tigers by four points. May's only lost this season. First quarter game tied at 14. Hudson Cox finds a wide-open Davian Colderin, the Eagles take a 20 to 14 lead. It wasn't very close for very long though. Second quarter now, Cross Knittle, he's just getting started, finds a seam and just takes off to extend Sterling City's lead 36 to 14. Here's kind of a turning point now. Rory Bustamante to Blake Harrell. Looks like he's just going to take this one to the house, but in comes Chance Ferguson to knock the ball free, and the Eagles have it. They're in business before halftime. This is just Canelo in a nutshell, changing direction, zigzagging his way through, making guys miss, and he's going to take that in for another touchdown. The Eagles led 60 to 22 at the break. Sterling City, they got the ball first in the second half. Going for the mercy rule, and they would with a dime to Colder in with the touchdown. And Sterling City, they are the state champions in 1A Division I for the first time in program history. 68 to 22 is the final. It feels oh so sweet.